Okay, so in the last video we talked about amplitude and period and how to find them, uh, whether we have an equation or a graph, and we did a brief example. So let's do uh, four more quick examples um, in this video. So these really aren't that bad, so we can do four in a video, uh, and it really won't be that long. Um, so <clears throat> remember, just in general, uh, we have something like uh, y equals a times the sine of omega x. Okay, so we talked a little bit about that in the previous video or y equals a cosine uh, omega x, okay? Um, so again, that's the lowercase Greek letter omega. Okay, that's what that is here, uh, omega. So not a w, but omega. It looks uh, pretty much kind of the same, but it's slightly different. Anyway, um, and again, we could have a vertical shift, but vertical shifts don't affect anything as far as the amplitude and period go. Uh, okay, so a sine omega x, a cosine omega x, Remember that the amplitude is just the absolute value of a, and the period is uh, 2 pi divided by the absolute value of omega. Okay, so it really is that simple. There's not a whole lot to do here. Um, sometimes you might just have to do some kind of uh, slightly messy algebra with fractions here, uh, but it's not even that bad, really. So um, first we want to, so let's do part a here. So find the amplitude and period of y equals negative 5 sine of negative 8x. Okay, so first we just want to identify uh, what's a and what's omega? So uh, a is the thing out here. So it's a sine omega x. So a is this here, negative 5. So a, uh, capital A equals negative 5. Okay. So then the amplitude is uh, the absolute value of a. So then the amplitude, well, abbreviate amp, a -M -P, uh, equals the absolute value of a, which is just uh, positive 5. Okay. So absolute value of a is absolute value of negative 5. Let's maybe show all the details for this first one. Okay, so absolute value of negative 5 is just positive 5. So that's it for the amplitude. Now, what is omega? So omega is um, negative 8. Okay, omega is negative 8. Okay, so then what about the period? So remember, the period is 2 pi over the absolute value of omega. So that is, uh, so the period, which I'll abbreviate PD, uh, period equals 2 pi over the absolute value of omega. So that's uh, 2 pi over the absolute value of negative 8. Well, the absolute value of negative 8 is, of course, just positive 8, right? So this is 2 pi over 8, uh, which reduces to pi over 4. Okay, so that's uh, equals, equals pi over 4. Okay, so um, the amplitude, so for part A here, for part A, the amplitude is 5, and the period is pi over 4. Okay, so um, what that means is that, uh, so this 5, the amplitude of 5 means the graph is stretched out vertically quite a bit. In case we have the 5 here. So for just plain old sine of x, the amplitude is 1. Okay? Um, so if we have an amplitude of 5, that means it's stretched out quite a bit. Okay? And uh, this period of pi over 4 means um, that every pi over 4 units, the graph starts repeating. Okay? So that's actually kind of a small period, because normally for sine of x and cosine of x, uh, the period is just 2 pi, right? But here, um, a period of pi over 4 is a little bit smaller, so every pi over 4 units, you got that same shape repeating and repeating, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's part A. Um, part B, y equals negative cosine of negative x over 3. Okay. So before we jump into here and identify a and omega, um, let's go ahead and rewrite this to make it a little bit easier to identify a and omega. So this is uh, negative 1 times the cosine of negative 1 third x. Okay, so negative out here like that, that's the same thing as saying negative 1 multiplied by that. And then negative x over 3 is the same as negative 1 third times x. So now it's a little bit easier to identify. Uh, a is negative 1. Okay, this is A. It's negative 1. Uh, and omega, omega is uh, negative 1 third. Okay. So notice here we have a cosine instead of a sine, but that changes absolutely nothing. Okay, whether you have a sine or a cosine, this is the amplitude and this is the period. Okay. The amplitude is absolute value of A and the period is 2 pi over omega, over the absolute value of omega. Okay. Um, so a is negative 1, so the amplitude is the absolute value of a, which is the absolute value of negative 1, which is just uh, 1. Okay? So the amplitude is 1, and then the period, which I'll abbreviate pd again, is uh, 2 pi over the absolute value of omega, okay, which is uh, 2 pi over the absolute value of negative 1 third. Okay? Uh, the absolute value of negative 1 third, let's make that a little more clear, uh, the absolute value of negative one-third is positive one-third, so this is just two pi divided by one-third. 
Now, if you divide by one third, what are you multiplying by? You're multiplying by three. So this is two pi times three, which is the same thing as uh, six pi. Okay, so two pi times three is just the same thing as six pi. So uh, our amplitude is one and the period is six pi. Okay, so the period is six pi. So that's quite a bit larger than a normal period of two pi, right? So this means that every six pi units, uh, this graph starts repeating, okay? And the amplitude is one, so nothing really uh, too different there. But anyway, that's what's going on here, amplitude one, period six pi. So let's do part C, y equals sine of three x over four. So first uh, we could, it's not really necessary here, but we could say, so that's one times the sine of uh, three fourths times x. So just like in part B, we uh, rewrote the function to make it easier to identify a and omega. We can do the same thing here. Okay, so a equals uh, 1, okay, and uh, omega equals 3 fourths. Okay, so then the amplitude is the, uh, so amp is the absolute value of a, but a is already positive, so the absolute value doesn't really do anything, so it's just 1, okay. And then the period is uh, 2 pi over the absolute value of omega. But again, uh, omega is already positive, so the absolute value doesn't do anything, so this is just 2 pi divided by 3 fourths. Okay? Now, if we divide by 3 fourths, what are we multiplying by? We're multiplying by the reciprocal, 4 thirds. So that's 2 pi times 4 thirds, which uh, becomes 8 pi over 3, and that cannot be simplified. Okay, so what does that mean? That just means that every 8 pi over 3 units, um, this graph starts repeating. Okay, so that's actually kind of an ugly period. Uh, 8 pi over 3, not really a nice number as far as numbers with pi go, um, which is slightly surprising because this function doesn't really sound all that bad, right? y equals sine of 3x over 4. It doesn't really sound like too bad of a function. But as far as periods go, that's really not that nice. But anyway, it's, uh, it is what it is. So amplitude is 1, period is 8 pi over 3. And uh, last one here, y equals 3 halves times the sine of pi x. Okay, so uh, we don't have to rewrite this function at all. Everything's kind of nicely laid out already. That's good. So what is uh, a? a is 3 halves. Okay, because remember it's uh, a sine omega x or a cosine omega x. So here um, a is 3 halves. And then uh, here omega is pi. So omega is pi. So let's uh, separate this here. Okay, so then uh, what's the amplitude? So the amplitude is just the absolute value of a, but a is already positive, so absolute value doesn't really do anything, so it's just uh, three halves. Okay. Uh, how about the period? So the period uh, is two pi over the absolute value of omega. Um, omega is already positive, it's just pi, okay, that's a positive number. So this is two pi divided by pi. Pi is canceled, that's great, and we're just left with two. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So uh, all the periods so far have had a pi in them, right? Pi over four, uh, 6 pi, 8 pi over 3, and now this one does not have a pi. So that could totally happen, right? That's totally possible. Um, so the period is, uh, the only restriction that we have really is that the period be a positive number. It doesn't have to have a pi in it. And here we have a period with uh, no pi, so it's just 2, okay? So period is 2 and amplitude is 3 halves. So that's four more quick examples um, with finding amplitude and period. Okay? And starting in the next video, uh, or in an upcoming video anyway, um, we'll do some examples of uh, using these uh, for graphing and things like that.